but that's just how you decorate when you got little kids. Okay. Click on today's video. My name is Diana. I am a wife and a mom of two. I have a two-year-old and an almost a one-year-old. And we are decorating for Christmas today. It's loud, so I'll probably do a voiceover, but I just wanted to say hello and thank y'all for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get into it. Let's make wood for the Christmas dress. Hi, bye. Okay, now I have to fluff. I'll be fluffing for the next hour. The, the, the top one is already connected to the second one. The second one's not connected to the third one. The bottom one. Just heavy. No, you gotta like pick it up and then try to find where it fits in. Okay, so where are all of my real Christmas tree owners who like real Christmas trees in their house? I love having a real Christmas tree, but I haven't had one since me and Kwame have gotten together because he thinks that they are dangerous, which I understand. Like a lot of house fires are caused by real Christmas trees, but if you know how to take care of them, and I know how to take care of them, they're really nice to have in the house. But I do love our fake Christmas tree this year. Be rough All right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. The baby's in there. Okay, that's what we have so far. Okay, it's giving a really big Christmas tree. I never had a Christmas tree this well. I never had a fake tree this big, but look at it. See, it came with a remote and one of those like little stoppers, you know. You can turn it off. Oh, oh, oh. on. Okay. But I need to try to figure out. I just want, you know, regular multi. Steady. But even though I put that on like that, it'd be moving still. I gotta figure that out. Shout out to uh, Dion, Dion Sanders and the Colorado team. So I got this big one and this one all from Walmart. And then I just have a couple of ones that my daughter picked out. So we'll put those on. And these are like ornament hooks. So got to put all these on. So this is real life, okay? Real life is having your kids with you doing everything, especially Christmas decorating. My oldest is two years old. She'll be three in a couple of months, but she is always with me. She's always doing stuff. And she honestly, both of them really make the holidays even that much more special because I get to share it with them and see the magic of Christmas come to life. So this is like, I would say this is the first year that she's really like and and able to enjoy Christmas and just helping me with it when she was one. Um, she liked the lights and everything, but this year she can point things out. She can hand things to me. She can help me do everything. So even though it took a really long time to do this whole thing and all I did was decorate the Christmas tree and put up a wreath or a, a garland on the fireplace, it took forever, like two, three different days because I have my baby helping me. But honestly, I wouldn't want it any other way. All of our ornaments now have hooks on them. You got your pretzel one. Pretzel. And your, what's this? Gingerbread. And, and 
these little ones. We gotta put a hook on this. I So this was one of the kind of more tedious parts because she wanted to do what I was doing, which was hanging up the ornaments, but she couldn't get it onto the tree. And it is kind of tricky, like putting ornaments on a tree, like you have to kind of know what you're doing. And as two years old, she didn't really know what she was doing, she but she that. left so at this point <laughs> and it was just me. And uh, she went and played in the playroom with her sister and her dad, but she ends up coming back to help me finish up. But I really love how it turned out. I love how it looks all nice and festive. Honestly, while I'm doing this voiceover, which is a couple of days later, I still haven't put up the sentimental ornaments, but this is my reminder to myself to go do that because I love those ornaments. I've had them since before we had babies, like we, our first year. Kwame and I first year of living together we had a Christmas tree and I made this cute little ornament and I still have it so now we're on year what one two three four five one of those years so I have all those ornaments from each year and I just love having those This is what it looks like with all the ornaments on there. I still have to put our little sentimental ornaments on, but I'll do that later. And now I'm going to focus on this. Again up there, I'm just gonna put this that I found at Target, this garland. It's already pretty much decorated, it just needs some lights. So I'm going to add these little I like lights. Pooping party. You have to poop in the potty. So yeah, I'm gonna add these lights and then I'll add the stockings and that's pretty much it. I'm not doing a whole lot this year because I, I told y'all in a couple of videos before we had to throw away all of our Christmas decorations again because we moved, didn't have enough space for them. So we had to start again, which I don't really like starting over, but it is what it is. So this is what I have. Oh. All right. Uh, how do I put this thing up there? Oh no, don't fall. Okay, 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 alright. All right. Let me weave it into the TV leg. Oh, I see it. We gotta put the lights up. And B. Move y'all closer so you can see a little bit better. Maybe I should use some hooks. Yeah, but I gotta figure out this part. Okay. About this weird lighting. I probably won't do any more videos in my living room. It's just not that pretty lighting. <laughs> All right, got the light. Wait, Lena, I'm about to put it up here, okay? So I had to turn on Blue's Clues to occupy the two-year-old. And the baby wants all the attention. But that's just how you decorate when you got little kids, okay? She clearly loves the Christmas tree. I'm gonna be using these metal command strips. Okay, who wants dinner? I want dinner. You want dinner? Okay. Three bowls because I don't want dinner. So I'll just make them dinner. Blue's Clues was a lifesaver this evening. My daughter <laughs> would not let me finish and I really just had to finish because I want to continue to stay on a schedule of posting every Sunday and Wednesday so I had to get this done so I can post it for y'all but she just was not letting me do it so Blue's Clues was there to help us out and she again was helping me here because that's just what she does but I ended up doing it and I really really love how it turned out okay finally got it up Move, mama. All right, so I'm going to plug in the lights. See what it does. 
Stop wow. Your stop. So while the family continues to eat or not eat, I don't know what they're doing actually. So I have a D for me. K for Kwame. M for Milena. A for Amina. And a little paw for Obi. So I'm about to just sit here and put the hooks on. And then I'll just put those up. Okay, so if you've never used command hooks before, you have to put like the little sticky on the back of each hook and then take another, like the other side of the sticker off to put it on wherever you want to hang it on. So that's what I had to do here, which was the same thing of what I had to do with the garland, but I was really struggling. Like, why is this garland not staying up? But I just use like bigger hooks, bigger command hooks, and then use that for the garland. Okay, I'm about to turn off the lights, ignore Blue's Clues up there. I'm going to turn off the lights and show you how it really looks. Okay, that is it for my Christmas tree and mantle decorate. If I do any more decorations, I will definitely let y'all know and do another video if I do any more decorations. But that's all for this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Our next video will be like a day in the life of a mom and an entrepreneur because we're going to go see our new house. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you then. Peace.